that you could throw. If you ask me one question, you say, Clay, what can you tell me to make me a better fisherman? Number one, let me ask you this. How many of you out here in the crowd that's ever got up early at 4 o'clock in the morning and went to fish tournament, how many of you have ever had those mornings where you wake up and the first thing you do, thank you, brother, the first thing you do when you get up, maybe you go to the restroom, and when you go to pull the toilet paper off, toilet paper off, toilet paper bank lashes. Anybody ever had that problem first thing in the morning? All right, how about when you go get your sausage to biscuit and you get your Diet Coca-Cola and you get in the truck or your orange juice or whatever, the first thing that happens when you open up your coat, you spill it in your lap. Ever had that happen? All right, well, when you get in the boat and you go to put the boat in the water, how many of you ever forgot to take your back straps off and you about float your trailer and everything else? Well, guess what? I've been there. I've done it all. And it ain't good. And the first thing it makes you want to do is when you get on the water and you pick up your rod, and the first thing you slink it out there and you bang lash, you go, Bleh! gum it. Boy, you get so mad and you just start wanting to stomp everything in the boat and everything else. Well, guess what? That ain't the way you want to fish a tournament day. Hello? You don't want to go out there mad at the world, ticked off, and everything else, and the first time one blows up on a buzz bait, just because you blow up on your jerk, your buzz bait goes flying over your head and you get mad. You say, Clay, what are you getting at? Gerald Swindle says, PMA, positive mental attitude. I love that saying, and I kind of changed mine up a little bit in saying this. I say, if Clay can, you can. Why do I say that? How many of you, if you didn't know that I was a professional angler, how many of you saw him 27 years ago, 30 years ago, right when I was born? If you looked at me, being born in the shape I was in, how many of you would look at me and say, that dude's going to be a pro fisherman? He's got a half arm. He's going to be able to fish without using any special equipment. How many of you would have said that, honestly? Hardly none of you. You know how many people out of my hometown of 8,000 people in Hamilton said I was crazy when I told them I was going to be a pro angler? A bunch of them. They said, you have lost your ever-loving mind. Praise God. 18 years later, I'm on the top level of the tour. I've got some of the most awesome partners in the industry backing me and my family to enable us to live our dream. How have I got here? I've got here because of two reasons. Number one, because I put my faith in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when I was 18 years old. And when God speaks it, it's going to happen. When God wills for it to happen, there's nothing you can do to stop it. And that's a good thing. Because when God told me I could be a professional angler, and I prayed and gave him the praise, honor, and glory, and I said, God, this is my dream. This is what I want to do. What does it say in his scripture? It says that he will grant you desires of your heart when you give him praise, honor, and glory. Well, for 18 years of my life, I messed around and didn't give my life to Christ. And all I did for 18 years was rob myself of blessings that God had in store for me. Since I was 18 years old and invited Jesus into my heart to save me, he has granted me desires in my heart to be out here doing what I love to do, to have a beautiful wife and family, and to be able to be out here living my dream. You say, Clay, what do you do on tournament day? i tell you this. If you fail to plan, plan to fail. Don't go out there and do a tournament day and think negative and expect to catch it. I had a guy ask me, one of my observers asked me, or one of my co-anglers asked me last year in the boat one day. We went about three hours without a bite. He looked at me and he said, Clay, do you believe you're going to catch one every cast? I said, of course I do. He looked at me and he said, well, you know you're not going to catch one every cast. I looked at him and I said, I didn't say I knew I wouldn't. I said, but if I don't make that cast believing I'm going to get a bite, I'm not going to get a bite. When I put that bait on, if I don't believe that bait's going to catch a fish, it's not going to catch one. Why? Because I'm not going to fish it to where it'll catch one. But when I put that bait on there, of all the baits I carry in my boat, and that's some um, 48 tackle trays, I counted them the other day because I done lost count how many I had. I had way too many, that's how many I had. When I went through there, I realized the single most important lure in my tackle box is my mind and my heart. Why? Because the decision I make to put on the right bait to make the right adjustment to the conditions I'm facing is going to be the difference in me catching fish or not. 